carefully chosen words honor God. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Amy Boucher Pai. Amy writes, One day during a university philosophy class, a student made some inflammatory remarks about the professor's views. To the surprise of the other students, the teacher thanked him and moved on to another comment. When he was asked later why he didn't respond to the student, he said, I'm practicing the discipline of not having to have the last word. This teacher loved and honored God, and he wanted to embody a humble spirit as he reflected this love. His words remind me of another teacher, this one from long ago, who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes. Although not addressing how to handle an angry person, he said that when we approach the Lord, we should guard our steps and go near to listen, rather than being quick with our mouths and hasty in our hearts. By doing so, we acknowledge that God is the Lord, and we are those whom He has created. How do you approach God? If you sense that your attitude could use some adjustment, why not spend some time considering the majesty and greatness of the Lord? When we ponder His unending wisdom, power, and presence, we can feel awed by His overflowing love for us. With this posture of humility, we too need not have the last word. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 1-7. through 7. Guard your steps when you go to the house of God. Go near to listen rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools who do not know that they do wrong. Do not be quick with your mouth. Do not be hasty in your heart to utter anything before God. God is in heaven, and you are on earth, so let your words be few. A dream comes when there are many cares, and many words mark the speech of a fool. When you make a vow to God, do not delay to fulfill it. He has no pleasure in fools. Fulfill your vow. It is better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. Do not let your mouth lead you into sin, and do not protest to the temple messenger, My vow was a mistake. Why should God be angry at what you say and destroy the work of your hands? Much dreaming and many words are meaningless. Therefore, fear God. That's today's scripture reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 1 through 7. Let's pray. Lord, we want to honor you and bow before you in silence now. Teach us how to pray and how to listen to you. In your Son, Jesus' name, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 